Here are a few Apple Mac tips and tricks built into Mac OS that most people don't know about. Let's get into it. All right, thanks and welcome back to the channel. So if you're new to the channel or if you're coming for the first time, what have you, I have about 450 Apple related videos or somewhere in that range. So definitely check out my channel. Um, subscribe if you can, but I have like 75 or 80 of these training videos and uh, I'll try to make maybe like a subcategory for them so you can find them a little bit easier, but you can search my site. But I also have a ton of technical ones on reviews and equipment and old equipment and everything else. So check it out. All right, so what's this video gonna be about? It's gonna be about basically five tips or tricks built into Mac OS that most people don't know about. I would say 90% of the people probably don't know about these. Let me know in the comments. It's just fun to see if you knew about these or not, or if there was at least one or two you did not know about. And these are gonna be things that aren't gonna change your life. They're not gonna you know, take away hours of time doing stuff. They're gonna be just simple little like one step less here and there, but they're just tips and tricks that are fun to learn if you're actually into Mac OS and Macs. So, We'll get into it and I just wanna kinda of explain the video so you're not expecting 25 or 30 of these things because I like to do them kinda of five at a time just cause it's easier to learn that way. Let me know what you think. If you do 25, it's hard to kinda of figure them all out but if you can only do five, you learn those the first time, it sticks with you I think. So I do five at a time and let's get into it here shortly. Oh yeah, and before everyone tells me you can do this another way, I know it for sure. You can always do these different ways and stuff. So this is just a fun video. They're kind of cool, like I said, most people don't know about these, but let me know in the comments. I mean, you can let me know, but I, I do know that there's other ways to do these. This is kind of just one example. All right, so if you look at my screen here, you're gonna see that my cursor's right here. Now, everyone knows how to obviously close a window. You have the little X here, the, the red X that's up in the upper left-hand corner. You click it right, and it's gonna close one of the windows. Now, what happens if you wanna close all these windows very quickly? All you have to do is you hold down the Option key on your keyboard, hold down the Option key, and then click any of these Xs. Now, watch what happens. If I click the X holding the Option, it'll actually delete all of those. So it closes all the applications, you know, that are associated with that application. So if you have multiple windows open, it's gonna, you know, close all of those. If you have like another program open, it's not gonna close that program. But if you have multiple windows in a browser or multiple pages, files, or what have you, it's gonna close everything at once just by holding the option key and clicking the red X. All right, for this next one, we're gonna share my screen over here. Let's go take a look at it. So here I am in Finder. Everyone obviously knows what this is. See the little green circle up here? You know what that is? That expands the window, and you can see if you kind of hover over it, it's gonna list a couple different options here. But one thing people didn't know about is if you actually hover over that and you click the Option key, you're gonna notice it changes to Zoom. See that right there? It says Zoom. What does Zoom mean? Now, Zoom, a lot of people think exactly what they think it means, but it doesn't mean that. Watch what happens if I click Zoom here. It shrunk the box. Do you see that? It's not zooming anything. It's actually shrinking the box. For some reason, they call it Zoom, but what that basically does is, so if you expand any window, it can be in any application, and you actually click this button, Zoom here, it's gonna close the window to fit everything it can into that window without actually going anything further out. So it's gonna make it the most size attractive, I guess is what they call it, right? Um, so like, let's just say if we go in here to Pages, same thing, if I open up just a file really quickly and I have a window over here and it's wide open like this, again, same thing up here. If you go up here, hold on the option, you'll see Zoom shows up. Click on it and you can see it shrinks the window back down so that it gives you the kind of the, you're using the least amount of space, I guess, for the application. All right, so for the third tip, again, let's share my screen over here. If you go down to the dock down here, you'll notice obviously if you click on any of these applications, you're gonna open up the application. That's pretty straightforward. But a lot of people didn't know, and this is very simple. Let's just say you wanna go into Pages, but you wanna open up an app that you just, or a page, a file that you just had open in Pages. Instead of clicking on it like that and then going up to File and Open and all that stuff or trying to find it, all you gotta do is, again, go down to Pages and don't click and let go, but click and hold on Pages icon right there. And you'll see what happens is these things come up up here, and these are the last four documents, because I've only opened four on here, but there could be the last you know, 50 documents that you've actually opened. And so you just basically select the one that you want there, and it'll open that document right away instead of having to open up Pages first and then search for it. So it's very simple, and it works with a lot of different applications. So if you go down here to Keynote, for example, look at my screen, um, I, I hold down, I don't let go, I just hold down for a second, it's going to open the last couple documents that I had open and I let go of it and it's going to go ahead and launch Keynote and then launch that document. Very simple. A lot of people just don't know that exists. All right, so for this fourth tip here, again, this is not mind-blowing or anything like that, but if you go down to System Preferences, you get the same thing. So obviously, if you click on System Preferences, it's gonna open up a window up here, and you can go ahead and figure out what you wanna go to. You can browse through there. But to get to there just slightly quicker, if you go down to System Preferences and you hold down, just like I said, don't click and let go, but just hold down on it, 
it's going to open up a look at that it's going to open up a little window and you can select like let's say i want to go to the mouse you can go right into the mouse that way instead of having a couple clicks there so it's really just one click versus a multiple clicks saves you a couple seconds and it makes you a power user i guess for your friends but beyond that that's about all that one does Oh yeah, and one other thing, same thing, this is kind of cool for Windows people. Uh, if you go down to Launchpad, and it, you know, I'll show you the icon here, and you hold it down there as well, it opens up a window very similar to like a Windows menu, menu where you can launch all your different apps. A lot of people knew that one as well. All right, so for the fifth one, I think a lot of people know about some of this, but not all of it. It's very simple again, but if we go into my screen here and we look at downloads in my downloads folder, I have a bunch of images. So let's just say you have an image folder with a whole, all your pictures and everything that you've taken over the years. Everyone pretty much knows if you just click on it and you click the space bar, obviously it opens up preview. That's super simple. But if you actually select, like just say there was hundreds of documents in here, not documents, but more or less, you know, photos or they can be documents, I guess, too. But photos for the most part, movies, things like that. You just basically click the first one, hold shift down, highlight them all like that. And then all you have to do is hit the space bar. What's the difference? The difference is simple. If you go up to the upper left hand corner then, then you actually have a slideshow button here and you can go through all your images really quickly instead of going through each one. I've seen a lot of people click on one and then they click the space bar and then they click on the next one. And you don't have to do that because it can create the slideshow just like that. All right, so let me know what you think. These are very, very simple tips again. I'm just hoping to show people. There's a lot of like hidden features built into Mac OS that a lot of people just don't know about. They don't use it. And it's, it's, to be quite frank, I mean, I don't use a lot of it either because it's just hard to remember, number one. And number two, there's always another way to do it. But these are kind of like very quick things you can learn and, and it makes you just a little bit faster with using Mac OS. Let me know your comments if you guys knew about any of these and which ones you know were the most rare, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find some of the rarest ones. So subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna do some videos coming up where they're like really rare ones that almost nobody knows about. And uh, I'll do maybe five or six or seven at a time there as well. Um, but I also do stuff like this, I do reviews of of new equipment, old equipment, I test old equipment and everything else on my channel. Do like hubs and switches, including this really cool hub down here that's built into the iMac. Uh, check out that video, it's a couple weeks ago, but it's a phenomenal hub for what you get there. Anyways, let me know in the comments and we'll talk to you soon. And uh, I guess I, I make about two to three videos a week somewhere in there. We'll talk to everybody in the next one. Peace. All right, just a really quick tip here. Here's my name, Craig Nidell, that's my channel. If you actually put my name in and then just put tips and tricks after it, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different videos come up here. I'm just showing you an example right now, but I've done probably 50 or 60 different kind of informational or tips and tricks videos, but I have probably a couple hundred of different review products on Macs and everything about Apple. So check out my channel if you can subscribe, it's gonna help me grow the channel. I appreciate everything. Thanks again, talk to you soon, bye.